Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today uh, I'm taking another look at Steel Rain. Uh, why is that? Well, if you remember my original video, I said the developers uh, of Steel Rain are const Polarity Flow are constantly adding new content to the game, and uh, they actually added uh, a, cu a couple more new things to the game uh, since my last video. So they're really doing a, a great job of uh, listening to feedback and just putting more content into the game. They've added a arcade mode and a survival mode, and the survival mode was actually uh, based on my uh, and a few other people's recommendations. But what you basically do is, it's survival mode, you know, you hit survival mode, you go to new game, uh, you select your ship, and of course difficulty and all that. Uh, you can change your little drone, your pet bot, uh, go to new game, and then it go ahead and you uh, play survival mode. And there is, of course, a leaderboard, um, so you know, you can play against other people uh, and try to get a better score than them. But yeah, that's survival mode. You just keep playing uh, until you die, you know, and I think that's a really great addition because I haven't really, uh, a lot of shmuffs, um, I don't play a lot of shmuffs, and I don't really see that game mode as much as uh, you think you would in a game like this because I just think survival mode. Uh, fits perfectly well uh, with this sort of game and yeah it's just a lot of fun just sort of seeing how far you can get and trying to top uh, other scores in the leaderboards um, and you also uh, they've also done uh, a lot of bug fixes like they've actually improved uh, gamepad support on Linux specifically and uh, a few other things I'm actually using my steam controller to play this right now I should have did it in my last video so you didn't hear my keyboard clacking but oh well uh, and then they've also added an arcade mode. Arcade mode is uh, basically you play through um, the stage, the stages one by one, and you know you don't have to do the campaign. Like if you don't want to do the building, and uh, like if you go to campaign, you have um, the colonization, the research and skills, and all that. And if you don't want to do that, you can just play through the uh, arcade mode, which where you just play through the missions, and that's all you have to worry about, and you just select your upgrades, and that's it. Um, they've also I don't know if I mentioned this in my I don't think I mentioned this in my last video, but they have a trade hub now, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, you plant it down on your colonization, and you can buy materials and sell them, and just stuff like that. And what you sell and buy sort of influences the market, so that's a neat little uh, addition. Uh, my personal favorite game mode is arcade though, because I just like playing through the game uh, linearly, uh, you know, in a linear, linear fashion. Um, so yeah, you just go to arcade mode. And go ahead and go to continue. And of course, there's a leaderboards uh, for arcade mode as well. Select your difficulty, uh, select your ship, etc. You can go ahead and continue. And then you're playing uh, arcade mode. So, yeah, pretty cool that the developers are just giving content, uh, you know, just adding content to the game. Um, no strings attached, just here you go. Here's uh, more content for the game you purchased. And uh, that's just really cool when you do that. There's not a lot of developers out there that do that. And I think that these guys are very awesome for just adding content to the game um, based on users' feedback. And they've been very good so far with fixing bugs and stuff. If you look at the uh, Steam community page for this game, you know, there are uh, people reporting bugs and they get fixed fairly quickly. And each uh, uh, patch notes uh, tend to fix a good bit of bugs in them. So, yeah, they've definitely been pretty good so far on um, development of this game. And, yeah, it's very cool. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to sort of do a quick update video to show you guys that, uh, you know, if you didn't think the game had a lot of content before, you know, they're definitely adding more, and, you know, you could play it yourself, and if you have any feedback, you could send it to them, and they'll totally listen and implement things based on that, um, which not a lot of developers are doing. I think that should be, so I think nowadays that is something that a lot of developers don't do. Like, you see a lot of games on Steam that just get released and never get updated, uh, and are just buggy messes, right? So it's cool that... You have developers like Polarity Flow who are actually supporting their game for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this has been Keith taking uh, sort of an updated look at Steel Rain or showing you guys some of the new additions to the game. Uh, thanks for watching.